What's going on guys, this is Tall Rick with Urban Cow Gaming, and I'm here to deliver another mechanism tutorial to you. This is for the boiler. So, a boiler can be as small as this in terms of width and length. It needs to be a certain height based on the various functions that I'll show you shortly. This one I'm going to make a little bit wider and longer than the minimum, just so that we can see how it works. Okay, so you're going to start with a base of boiler casings, and then the sides can be either boiler casings or structural glass or the uh, boiler valves. You'll need at least four boiler valves. Uh, the edges have to be boiler casings, so keep that in mind. Okay, now that I have the basic edge done, I'm going to build the heater layer. This will disperse the heat from whatever you're sending into the boiler into the water for it to actually boil the water. Uh, in this case, it's going to be sodium. Uh, that tutorial is coming soon. So we'll go ahead and make the heater layer three high. And then I'll leave a space here and that will be the water reservoir, which will increase the maximum water capacity. Okay, now that I have the water reservoir, I'm going to add one more layer. And at the top of this layer, I will put pressure dispersers. And then I will go up another layer. We'll call it uh, three. It really kind of varies. Um, there are a number of different sizes and configurations you can actually build this in. As long as it's uh, square or rectangular, it will work. So what I'm building now is the steam catch, which will increase the steam capacity of the boiler. And then you cap it off with a layer of boiler casings. And that is a completed boiler. If we take a look inside of the boiler, we can see that it has a maximum boil capacity of almost 4 million millibuckets per tick. And it holds a significant amount of steam and a significant amount of water. So, we're going to, since our reactor is here, we're going to, and uh, this is our... We'll set this to be the input, and we'll set this to be the coolant output. So this will be the coolant input, and this will be the coolant uh, output. And then on this side will be the um, steam output, and this will be the steam input. And that is the boiler. And that's going to do it for this tutorial. Um, the fission tutorial, the fission reactor tutorial, as well as the sodium cooling tutorial, as well as the turbine tutorial, will all end up in the same playlist, so you can take a look at that. I've also linked the Mod Creators Patreon in the description, so you can take a look at that if you want. And I've also linked the download page for the mod itself, in case you didn't have it yet. Thank you all for watching, this has been Tall Rick with Urban Cow Gaming, and uh, enjoy the end card, I guess. Hey guys, welcome to the end card. This is Tall Rick. I just wanted to let you know, uh, if you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you didn't, then uh, don't, I guess. Uh, if you want to see anything else covered from Mechanism, or any other mod for that matter, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, we also have a Twitch channel, which you can check out if you want to. Uh, that's Urban Cow Gaming on Twitch. We also have Instagram under the same name and Facebook even. So yeah, um, uh, be sure to eat your vegetables. Bye.